Well, hey guys, how's it going? Hey, welcome to Crazy Cat Fishing. I'm Stacy. Thank you for watching. Fishing has sucked really bad here lately, not just for me, but for even for my other friends that fish. It's just hard to catch them right now. I don't know why. And I'm sorry about the background noise. I've got a major highway just about 200 feet behind me over here. Can't do nothing about that. But I'm going to show you a trolling motor that I bought for my kayak, for my Perception Outlaw 11.5. Since I got this kayak, I've been wrestling with the ideal whether or not to get a trolling motor or not. Once you get put a trolling motor on your kayak, it's no longer a kayak no more. It's a small boat. But my plans, I don't plan on using, I don't plan on using the trolling motor all the time just to get me from the put in to my spot and then from one spot to another spot. While I'm fishing, I'll be using my paddle. Uh, because a lot of the spots that I go to, especially on my local lake, it takes you forever just to get to the other side of the lake. And then it takes you even longer to get up into the creeks and the sloughs where you want to fish. By the time you get there, you're just so wore out and you've done spent 45 minutes, sometimes an hour just getting to your spot. And if you're on a time limit, you only get to fish for maybe 30 minutes to an hour and then you gotta leave and head back so you can get you know get back to the takeout so uh i went ahead and got me a trolling motor I, first i was looking at the mincota 30 pound thrust at walmart they had the 30 pound for like 99 dollars i believe is what it was and we were in there the other day and my wife seen these other trolling motors they had sitting out in the middle of the aisle and uh the one that i was looking at was uh only 18 pound thrust is made specifically for kayaks and it was like 60 something bucks now sorry there's bees around here for some reason won't leave me alone so I came home and started looking up on YouTube to see what I could find out about these motors and uh, there was a few videos on 18 pound thrust the next next one up was a 24 pound thrust and those two about the only two that I could find anything on well when I went back to go get the the trolling motor my wife happened to notice they had this one on clearance so uh let me show you what what it is it's a water snake tracer it's a 30 pound thrust 12 volts uh the amp draw Minimum is 6.5 amps with max of 30 amp draw. Has a 30 inch shaft. Comes in black. Uh, adjustable nylon transom bracket. Five forward speeds, two reverse speeds. Extended tiller control, um, durable alloy shaft, and a weedless two blade propeller. Now, I tried doing an unboxing on this, and when I tried to do the unboxing, it was rainy, so I had to do it inside, and I didn't have the camera set up, and I did the whole video. I went back and watched it, and it was crap. So, sorry you didn't get the unboxing, but I'll show you what all comes in this. Once I got this home, 
I started doing research trying to look it up online uh, mostly on YouTube see if there was any videos out about this particular uh, model of the water snake because the 18 pound thrust and the 24 pound thrust looks completely different than this if I can I'll put a picture or do something right here so you can see what they look like they don't have any speed control they only have slow fast forward and reverse and that's it all right so what made me get this one I don't know if you can see this I'll try to zoom in but it's originally $146 and they marked it down to $75 but like I was saying I brought it home tried to look it up I couldn't find nothing on this particular model so I thought I'd do do a video on it here I did find some reviews on it on Google on Amazon Eh, some of the reviews wasn't all that great but most of the time people that do reviews on there are sponsored by other brands and they just want to put the other brands down for some reason I've found that out through you know other things that I've bought you know anything that you buy you take a chance of it not being any count but that doesn't mean they're all bad but uh but they were some good reviews on there also so i took a shot it was only 75 bucks i mean if if it doesn't work i can take it back i've got the receipt and everything but when i did look it up on youtube for this particular model I got a lot of results for the Minn Kota 30 pound thrust and this one really looks similar to the the Minn Kota so I'm thinking this is their version water snakes version of the Minn Kota 30 pound thrust but what you get in the box you get the two blade propeller with the I'm guessing that's the tool to put it on with. The owner's manual. And a really cool big sticker. <laughs> and of course the trolling motor. And here it is. Got a 30, 30 inch shaft. It's 30 pound thrust, 12 volt. Got a transom mount. Here's the motor. As you seen just a second ago, I don't have the propeller on it yet. Uh, this is what the top of the head, the head unit looks like. So water snake tracer it has an extendable tiller handle. I like said it's got five forward. And two reverse. Water Snake brand is based out of uh, Australia. It's an Australia company. Uh, like I said, there's not very much talked about this particular model. Like I said, the other ones, there's quite a few videos on those. And, uh, if I got the picture to pop up, and you know, you'll see what the difference is. But in case I don't, I'll explain to you. This part on the 18-pound thrust and the 24-pound thrust is only about like this. It's white. It does not have this arm out here. It has another arm that attaches to the shaft that allows you to control the which way it goes. And it only has two buttons up here. It's got the forward and the reverse, and it's got a high and low speed. And that's it. But uh yeah, this is what she looks like. 
Here's the battery wires. You got little like uh, little clamps that hook onto your battery. And that's what she looks like, folks. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you about it, except for uh, once I get me a battery and I get everything that I need to mount it onto the kayak, I'm going to do a video of me doing that. Uh, I'm going to try my best to do this without drilling any holes into my kayak. The back of my kayak has a place just for a trolling motor i would have to buy a hatch cut this out put the hatch in just so i could get in here and then i'd have to get hardware to to make me a plate and to put on uh so i could have a, a transom so i could mount it back here but if i went that route I'd have to do a lot of other things to this kayak. One, I'd have to pretty much set sideways to reach back to get that tiller arm. And I wouldn't, if I ran up into a shallow area or an area that's got uh, like trees and stuff under the water real shallow, I wouldn't be able to pull the the blades up out of the water unless I did a, a major modification to the motor and on the kayak I would have to run wires and all that and I want to try to keep this kayak as simple as I possibly can so I'm not going to explain or tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to save that for the next video when I actually mount or mount it to the kayak. So, uh, I will give you this little hint. I'm not going to use my rod holders. I'm not sacrificing those. I found a different way that I believe is going to work. But you're just gonna have to wait till the, the video to find out how I do it and see if it works. But before I even can do all that, I've gotta get me a battery. I gotta get me a battery charger and I gotta get the kayak registered. That is something you have to do once you put a motorized, or when you motorize your kayak, you have to have it uh, registered with the state that you're in. But there's not a lot more to say about this trolling motor. I got a really great deal on it. That's the reason I went ahead and got this one. Taking a chance. But I think it's going to be worth it. I mean, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, I'll take it back. But I believe this is going to be a really game changer. I won't be wore out when I get to my spots. I'll be able to fish the spots a lot longer. A lot more in depth and I'll be able to fish more spots at the same time so uh yeah I hope you I hope this helps some of y'all uh, I don't know why nobody has done a video on this on this particular uh, trolling motor yet I don't know if it's just so brand new that it hasn't came out that nobody has seen it or what, what not, whatever it might be. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to need that right here. My neighbor's dogs are starting to bark. And I hope y'all have a great day. And remember, make memories. Go fishing, y'all. I'll see you on the next one.